All right, what is up? What is up? As you can see, we're back here with Dark Souls. I know, I realize, it has been a while. I am actually not online right now because I'm too lazy. I'm too lazy to move it. But basically, I actually don't want to be online because I don't want to get into any PK when I'm not recording. And the entire, the only point of recording this video is because you will see I have this new dude right here, uh, who's basically the in, the end game intent, not the end game, but at some point in time, the intent is to switch to being a sword master again right now i am just using a sword and a shield uh because i do not really have the stats that i want to have in order to properly play as a sword master so having the option to block things is very important right now until such time as i do get those stats but the entire point of this video is actually that i want to beat the pursuer um the, the the first the like mini boss version of the pursuer not the actual boss fight but that when you get that one chance, one opportunity, however the rest of that Eminem song go, like I can you, I can recite the entire thing in my head if I hear the beat, but without it, I can't I can't remember any of it. Anyway, um, I want I want to beat it, and I want to see what happens. So we're gonna try, and if I don't beat, it, I'm gonna be very sad, since you only you do only get that one opportunity. But that's the only that's the only reason I'm recording this video. There is more sorcerer coming up. Uh, I have in total. Oh, hey, that actually. Wow, I didn't know it did that. I figured. See, I actually saved right here because I got caught up in something when I first started to try to do this video. I figured. I assumed that um, it would definitely throw me back to a bonfire. Anyway, like I still need to figure out how you get to this dude. I'm assuming it has to have something to do with going through that door that's over there that you need like the king seal for or whatever. Because I tried to use that over there, like hop through it or something, but it is, it's tight. You can't get through, it's impossible. So I have no idea how to get to that thing down there. And obviously the drop is too far, I will not survive that drop. So I still have some things in the forest of giants that I have not yet uh, got to, but mostly I've, basically with the sorcerer, I got through um, to the ruined sentinels. I did go to the highest tower of flame and I completed all the stuff around there. Uh, so I have completed both ways into the Lost Bastille, and I have gotten to the boss fight of the Ruined Sentinels, and I'm sure a lot of you know exactly what that means. Uh, ha <laughs> ha. Oh, they hurt. They hurt so much. But anyway, basically the entire reason why I'm doing this is that yes, Sorcerer... I'm gonna hit that second hit. Look at that, I'm getting so smart about this. What the hell? What the hell? Um... While the sorcerer is... How is that, what is that rebounding off of? That was not hitting the wall. The sorcerer is easier in general to utilize than um, a melee fighter. Just because it does allow me against bosses to keep my distance. And keeping your distance against bosses takes away a lot of the challenge of it. But it takes away a lot of the fun too. So while I am having an easier time... I'm not having nearly as much fun either. And so, basically, that's why I switched back to this, and I will be getting. But I've gotten through. Um. A, oh, Jesus. No, no, no. You need to die. No, no, no. He didn't die. Fuck! I wasn't ready for this! I missed. I wasn't bad, I miss. Oh, fuck. There's another one. Woohoo! Alright, so I can't actually... Man. Woohoo! Where's the other thing? Where's the other thing? Die. Oh my god! Ha <laughs> ha! I was so lucky! Damn, this dude actually looks like he has just as much health. As he normally does. Like, I mean, I'm doing, I can't get that close. I don't want that dude to pay, start paying attention to me and start fucking throwing bombs. That was a little too close for comfort, too, right there. That's new. I have never seen that attack. Oh! I, I dodged late. I dodged late.
Damn it. Oh, I do have a ring now. Um, I have actually done some things that uh, I did not do. Oh, fuck, fuck! I do have some things in this playthrough that I do not have in either of the other ones. Uh, I used one of those Pharaoh's Lockstones at the bottom of the Forest of Giants, and that led to a ring that um, gives you increased endurance regeneration, or like faster endurance regeneration, which is fucking awesome. Woohoo! Man, I, if I actually lose this, like, you know how sad I will be? I am bodying this guy right now. The only time I got hit... I mean, the only time I got hit was entirely my own fault. I dodged late. But right now, I got this fucking time of death. I got scared right there. Because I accidentally hit the left button. I mean, this shouldn't have done anything, because, you know, it's just a block. But still, I hit the left button before the dodge. And that could have fucked me up somehow. I don't know how, but it could have. Too bad you can't buy, backstab the bosses. Fuck. Oh, I staggered him! Die! 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 Burn in hell! Yeah! Oh my god, that's actually what you get, isn't it? So do I not have to fight this dude now? Wait a minute. Now I need to figure this out. Where do I go? To figure this shit out. I literally can't remember where I'm supposed to go. Do I take this? Yes, I do. I do go this way. So let's see. This is such a terrible idea. Well, it's not really a terrible idea. Like, I handled that dude no problem that time. That was nothing. Oh, as you can see, I'm also pretty much naked right now. There's a reason for that. Uh, it's because I found out, basically, there are different thresholds, um, to, oh, this is actually a bad idea, because I haven't killed the guys up here yet. Well, whatever, I'll kill them now. Yeah, I hear that big-ass dude still coming, so fuck this. Right? Yeah. Ah! Right. Oops! 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 That's my bad. Oh yeah, see the gate's gone. So yeah, we beat him. We beat him, beat him. That's cool. So yeah, we just don't have to fight him now. Alright. See, I figured it was kind of like... Damn, he didn't follow quick. Oh, guys, I hit dodge. But I was still in recovery, and then it does two dodges. Fucking force. Why wouldn't it do two goddamn dodges, even though I hit the button twice rapidly the same amount of time, instead of actually... Would you do something and stop fucking blocking, you son of a fucking bitch? God, this dude's an asshole. Alright, you know what? That didn't work out. You did it again. I just got my ass kicked by these two dudes. These two regular dudes that do goddamn nothing. Ugh. Alright, well, anyway. So yeah, that's cool. That's really cool that you can actually beat him right there, and it will lead to, like, legitimately beating him. That's really awesome. I like that. Uh, so anyway, that's that. Like I said, um, oh, I forgot to finish off why I'm naked. I am naked because I learned that there are different thresholds to dodging. So basically what it is, is anything below 30% of your maximum equipment rate gives you the fastest, best dodge available. 31 per well, I don't know if it's actually like at 30% or if it has to be like just slightly above But anyway somewhere between 30% to 70% is the dodge that I've been using which is an okay dodge But it's not the best dodge Then after that it's I believe 70 to 100 this probably dude's probably gonna sit. Oh, he didn't sit Seventy to a hundred uh, 120 I believe was the figure for the like fat dodge and then after 120% I'm not sure if like you just you can no longer dodge period or if it's just ridiculously absurdly terribly slow I don't know which it is but it's one of those two so that's why I'm pa practically naked to keep myself underneath so there's no items around here I believe there's one right before the entrance to the boss if I'm remembering properly
is just so sad because y'all y'all gonna see it I got my ass handed to me by the pursuer in that time I got touched once in the entire fight and it was only because I hit dodge late you know it wasn't like a misreading on my part it's just so insane how like I mean games in general are like this like if you know how a game works if you know what something is like what boss is going to do at which times obviously everything's easier but it really is crazy just how much like a tiny little bit of experience just fixes everything so anyway we're gonna show this little scene actually kind of awesome. I really like this. Even though I am a- I need to- I need to go human. I need to go human. Why am I not human? I've only used one. Uh... You guys can see I have actually- I've only died once. But I don't want to be this ugly. Because I've died, uh, I have used one of these. And before I used one of these, I think I died. Let me see. I died twice against those two hippo dudes. Because I actually fought them legit. I stayed on that little beach. And it was the same thing as the pursuer. Like, I was perfectly fine. And then for some reason, like, my mind screaming, Yo, bro, dodge right now did not translate to my finger hitting the button in time. <laughs> and so I got grabbed and instant killed. That's why I died to, the, to them uh, twice. And then what else did I die to? I'm trying to think. I don't think I died to anything. Oh, that's right. I died another time against the knights at Hydus Tower. Because it was at that stage where, like, it, at, almost at the beginning, when you beat the shield, you beat the first shield knight, you beat the mace knight, and then you walk up that little pathway and go through the doorway, and you have that very small area to fight that knight dude on. I was backing up, and I did. I was not entirely aware of exactly where I was, and so I just you know, slowly, steadily moved backwards, pressed my back against the wall, and I was like, okay, cool. That's the wall. That means to the left is the open doorway, and I will go backwards and down the stairs, and I'll be perfectly fine. I misjudged where I was. <laughs> my back was on the far left side of the door, and so I moved to the left and went backwards and fell into the ocean. That was my other death. And then I died one other time just fighting the knights just regularly. I was stupid, because sometimes they do, like, most of the time, they will do three consecutive attacks, and they're very easy to avoid. You just strafe them. But this time, this particular knight decided to do five. So he threw out three, and I started attacking. And I was like, wait a minute, he's swinging again. Shit, it's too late to dodge. Bam! I took a hit. That motherfucker, well, whatever, this gives me even more time. Like, I'll take the damage, I get more hits now. Started hitting him. What the fuck, he's swinging again. Bam! I'm dead. That was my other death. But yeah, I'm, I'm doing good so far. I'm not dying very much. But so, uh, now we want to go back to Majula. I'm not going to keep this video very long. Uh, like, but like I said, actually, I don't think I said this at the beginning. I think I said this at the beginning of the other one. Basically, I have not played this game or Tales or anything um, at all in a week. Because all of this week has been midterms week for me. Which obviously very busy. I'm not going to sit down and play games. I got more important shit to take care of. Pure and simple. Whereas, um... There is no whereas there. So that's why I haven't really played this. I played I played this a bunch last night. Got to where I am right now. Because I played it last night but I could not record in that time. Um... Because, obviously, people are sleeping. I can't be loud. I don't want to wake people up. I'm not going to be an asshole. So, I hopefully will have more fighting game footage for those of you that, you know, like fighting game footage. <laughs> Sorry. I just haven't had time to play anything. Like, I've, I haven't touched basically anything in the past week. So, I'll get there. And I apologize for it. Because I know most of you are subscribed to me for the fighting game stuff. Hopefully that will eventually change, but you know, 
Just rocking it. So hope you enjoyed this little showing of my grand abilities now. Bear. Oh, one other thing that I wanted to mention. Um, I do appreciate, believe me, I appreciate the intent behind you guys, you know, saying, hey, yo, against this dude, you should do this. Uh, eventually, you come up against this, and you're going to have to do that. Like, I appreciate the intent of trying to help me. I really do. But I, I don't want to hear that. I do not want to hear anything about, like, what lies in store for me in the future. I do not want to hear about, like, how to beat something um, in general I'm going to be very far ahead of where I'm at currently whenever I'm you know posting videos but still point remaining I, I don't I do not want you to tell me how to beat something if you want to tell me something about the game mechanics like for instance those of you that told me can you actually power stance with a shield no you can't uh, but for those of you that told me about power stance I believe I can actually do this with the fire sword right now if I wanted to it's like this thing, you get power stance, he changes the weapon, then your left button, he swings both swords. That's what power stance does. Damn, that takes a lot of endurance, though. Um, but yeah, so, for, like, telling me stuff like that. Or stuff like adaptability that it, that buffs your dodge. Stuff that has to do with, like, specific gameplay mechanics that just, in general, aren't really explained. Because that's how Dark Souls works, like, they like you to learn things on your own. If you want to tell me about stuff like that, feel free. I have no problem about like game mechanics if you want to tell me what a particular covenant does whatever that kind of stuff i'm perfectly fine with it but like just don't don't tell me how to beat something don't tell me how to like what a cheap way to kill something is i don't want to know that stuff and like i said i appreciate the intent behind it that you want to help me you know you're taking the time out of your day to be like yo man if you did this it'll be a lot easier but I, that is the kind of stuff that I want to learn by myself. Game mechanics, I'm not particular. I don't have that same, you know, thing on. I don't really care about that. And it usually is helpful because, like I said, they usually do not explain their game mechanics very well. It's basically kind of like, I wonder if this works. Well, I mean, what happens if I do this? But maybe nothing happens. Maybe something does happen. Hey, I just learned something new. That kind of thing. Whereas, I want to, with enemies, with, like, stuff that's in the future, I want to do trial by fire. That's what I want there. So please, I appreciate tips. If it has to do with like, hey man, you know, you're using this weapon, but if you do this with it instead, it's fucking like 20 times more awesome. Stuff like that's perfectly fine. Just don't tell me how to beat things or what happens later in the game. Don't tell me that shit. Just talk about game mechanics and I'm perfectly fine. Just wanted to throw that out there. Because like I said, I do appreciate anybody that is trying to help me just... Don't try to help me too much. <laughs> so anyway, oh, I should actually be using this. This is a far lighter weight. Cause let me actually check this out. Cause this is the one. Which one was I using? Oh, that's another thing. This was the one that I was using. I did actually redeem the um, the Black Knight. Is that what it's actually called? Whatever the DLC thing was. Um, and it actually turns out none of the weapons are actually particularly like flat out amazing. Like as you can see, I'm actually using the Height of Night Sword right now. I'm not even using any of the other ones. Like, these two, I mean, they look awesome. You have this Black Flamestone Dagger, the Yellow Course Longsword is one of them. This, I think, yeah, the Bound Hand Axe is one of them. The, the Homunculus Mace is another one. And I think that's it. Oh, damn, I didn't realize I got this. Because I actually went through um, the Height of Night Tower so often. Because the first time I went through it just to get the, the ring... Like the Ring of Binding or whatever it's called. That's the first thing I went. I did. I just got that. But then I went through it a bunch of other times to, you know, beat different things. Get some souls, etc. And I actually got the entire Old Knight armor set. Which makes me kind of sad. Oh, that's a regular Knight armor. But I got... Oh, let's actually see. I'm not going to keep this on, but I want to see if the Old Knight armor is better. It is. Damn, it's a lot better. Holy shit. That's like almost twice the physical protection. <laughs> anyway, um, that's enough of randomly just, you know, running around with that. Thank you for all, you know, all of you that have been watching, paying attention so far. Appreciate you all. And obviously, once I get back to where I was, uh, beforehand, before, um, once I get back to where I was with the Sorcerer, I will again start doing this. I just wanted to check out and see if I could beat the Pursuer and see what happened. And I did it, because I'm the best.